day two of the Gallery Classic got underway at Mission Hills Country Club. And despite some cold, wet conditions out there today, it didn't stop players from firing off and climbing up that leaderboard. Our Tali Latoy has more from Raisha Mirage. Well, the rain did stay away for the most part out here, and some of the players were able to take advantage of the softer greens and really attack these pins today and climb that leaderboard. But the story of the day has to belong to a man by the name of Ricardo Gonzalez. Now, the Argentinian, uh, without having to say it, was really rolling the rock on these greens out here at the Dinosaur Tournament course. On the day, Gonzalez fired off on all cylinders, sporting that yellow ball, and a 63 on the day was good enough to shoot him to the top of the leaderboard. But for the most part, he said all credit goes to the flathead on these greens. Today is a, was a tough day. All the players need to keep in, on line the, the part, especially the second shot. And I have a lucky because I, I do great that, that shot, that kind of shot. And for uh, the other guys, I think it's, it's difficult today. What do you think is going to be the key tomorrow to just keeping the ball rolling, literally? Yes. Play like like today and and today I hit very good from the tee. Uh, I think it's one of the key to to stay in the up tomorrow. No? And of course, if you make putts, it's easy to do that. Now he said, what really made a difference today was having his son on the bag, Santiago. Help a lot. I think Santiago is 80 percent of my my putting today because I give me a good line and and then. When you have feeling, you have the right line, everything is possible. <laughs> yeah. And that's the beauty of this tournament. A lot of family members on the bag, whether it's Gonzalez or Steve Stricker or even Jay Haas, love to see it. As of now, all players adjusting to the conditions out here. And a lot of the players out here have called Gonzalez a field, a field golfer out there on the course. Now, Gonzalez will be leading the pack heading into Sunday. However, Stephen Alker, leader of the Charles Schwab standings, sits just one back with Retief Goosen. Now, this is familiar territory for both of them. Both went super low on the final day because it's not how you start it's how you finish and of course 2023 champ david tom's right there and can still make a move to get back into the winner circle to win back-to-back -back years but a lot of ground to be made tomorrow so we should be in store for some better weather as well as some better golf the final round of the gallery classic wraps up tomorrow and of course you can catch us live here at five and six talking to the new 2024 gallery classic champion but for right now it's going to do it for me reporting from mission hills country club i'm tolly latoy nbc palm springs